Fireworks lit the skies above U University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for graduates last night. The university's spring commencement was mostly calm despite pro-Palestinian protests on campus earlier in the day that lasted for hours. Carly Haynes has more. For so many of the people filling these seats, this is their first graduation. A moment that we've waited for for a long time, for sure. Because they're the COVID class. I like the closure aspect. I was okay missing a high school one. A screen over the crowd details the new security measures this year. No signs, no flags. It means that Carolina doesn't belong to you. It sure doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to any one person or group. This university is something we share. A protester briefly ran through the ceremony. Outside of Keenan Stadium, UNC cleared red paint with anti-war messages splattered against the South Building. Nearby, protesters set up an encampment. Even during hard times, students honor their big moments. I know everybody here has gone through like their own different experiences and just, just being able to be here with everybody, it's amazing. Especially for a graduating class whose milestones intersect with history. Organizers of the pro-Palestinian encampment at John Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, have reached an agreement to end their two-week-long protest. Members of the Hopkins Justice Collective said overnight they reached an agreement with administrators to end the encampment, but added they are not satisfied to end the demonstration, calling this, quote, a first step forward our demands on the longer struggle for decolonization. The university says it's agreed to a timely review of the protesters' key questions of divestment.